Hey YouTube, Vegapower454 here. In this video we're going to show you how to form the brass for your 6.5 Bentress Magnum using the parent case, which is a 3030 Winchester. And I'm going to show you all the steps you go through. These are the two rifles we have chambered in 6.5 Bentress Magnum. Thompson Center Encores. Both the stocks are from Year Arthur Brown, both barrels and forearms. And actually the scopes are too, all from Year Arthur Brown. They both have 26 inch barrels, 1 and 8 twist. This one has a bull barrel, this one has a heavy. This one I actually used last year to take a doe. She didn't go far. I just kind of want to show you those. Alright. First off, you're going to need some brand new 3030 cases. You can use Remington or Winchester or whatever. Doesn't really matter. I use Winchester. You're going to need a 7mm short neck size die. You can get those from Midway. And you're not going to need your expander ball and decapping unit. You can just take that right out of the die. And we already have the die in right now. So let's run some of these cases through and I'll show you the first step. I got these pre-lubed already. I'll show you what they look like when they come out. When they come out they should look just like that. Run a couple more through here. That's your first step. We'll go to the second step. Alright, on to the second step. You're going to need your die set for your 6.5 BRM. You can get that from E. Arthur Brown. They run about 60 bucks. We got our full length seismic die. We'll pop that puppy in. And I'll run these cases through. You won't really tell too much of a difference when you run through the seismic die. But you want to do it in a step because you're going from 30 caliber all the way down to 26 caliber and you need to have your 7 millimeter step in there and you don't want to go just from 30 all the way down to 26 So that's your second step. Alright, moving on to our next step. You're going to want to cut these down with your trimmer so they'll fit in your chamber. So then you can fire for them. Right now they're pretty long. So we've got 
2.039 and you probably want to cut them to probably about two inches your maximum length for these is going to be 1.980 so let's get these trimmed up The reason why you want to leave these a little long is when you fire form them, they're going to shrink a little bit. So let's move on to our next step. We're going to put our primers in. I'm just using the Winchester large rifle standard. Alright, our primers are in. Now we're going to go ahead and put some unique powder in. We're going to use nine grains of unique. Alright, we're going to use for our fire farming is what's called cow load. It's cream of wheat, and that's what the substitute is for the bullet. It's kind of expensive to use bullets to do this, so we use cream of wheat. It's not just used for cereal. Alright, let's get these loaded up. We're going to use nine grains of unique.
I'm not using a power thrower, I'm just doing it by hand. Oh, it went over on that one. A little bit. There we go. Alright, now we're going to put our cream of wheat in. What you want to do when you fill the cream of wheat is you want to fill it about right there the lower neck right there. So let's get that filled up. Trick is not to overfill it. If you're a little over, it's all right. Yeah, that's pretty good. And to hold the cream wheat down, you're just gonna use regular toilet paper. And you just push it down. Cream wheat doesn't fall out. Just push that down nice. And, and that one's ready to fire. Let's do his other three. Oh, that one went over a little bit. Dump some out. No more. That looks good. A little bit of TP. Good to go. All right, these are our two. I'll just do off camera. And next, we're gonna fire them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fire for them. These. I give you a close up of those. What they look like before we fire for them. And here we go. Yes, you still want to wear hearing protection, of course. And now you have a 6.5 BRM case. Let's fire three more.
Well, there you have it. There's our four Fireform cases. Now they're still going to be a little long, so you're going to have to trim down a little bit. And here's the info you'll need. Max case length, 1.980. Trim length, 1.970. And I trim them to 1.975. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Vega Power 454 out.